This week, Code Orange is declared at Target, LEGO Star Wars gets a Halloween special, Trick or Treat Studios drops some new product reveals, and more. This is This Week in Eek. Hi there, I'm Mike, and I'm the Ohalos Geek, and welcome to This Week in Eek, my weekly series where I recap the top stories in Halloween and horror news from the last week. No, it's not The Purge, it's a code orange at Target, but based on early reactions to this year's releases, it damn well could be a purge. Target Halloween fans got their first taste of Halloween 2021 online last weekend when the big box retailer unleashed a fairly large selection of Halloween product on its website. While fans were happy to see Halloween products arrive for 2021, they quickly realized that much of the selection was made up of products released in 2020. Of the new items that seem to be popular among Halloween fans this year are the 71-inch lit pumpkin street lamp and the 42-inch lit trick-or-treat stop sign. Now, while those of us who actually got a decent selection of Halloween at their Target stores last year are a bit disappointed in the reveals, um, there's a bit of a silver lining here, and it's just that for folks who missed out on last year's Halloween pre-orders, or if your Target store just didn't stock Halloween very much because of the pandemic, this might be your chance, or kind of a second chance really, to get your hands on some of that 2020 Halloween product that you might have missed out on. So, it's not all doom and gloom, but that said, I'm hopeful that right now this is just a glimpse at what Target has in store for 2021, and we'll see more as the Halloween season nears. And this past weekend, Trick or Treat Studios also made some new product reveals. The announcements came as part of the Mask and Collectible Makers Comic Con at Home streaming event, which highlighted some of the talent behind the Trick or Treat Studios brand and included several new product reveals. Among the bigger announcements were that the recently revealed finger licking, pistol whipping Captain Spaulding figure would be joined by a second wave of action figures inspired by the characters from House of a Thousand Corpses. Set to be released in 2022, fans will be able to add Showtime Baby Firefly, Rabbit Roast and Otis Driftwood, Rippin' Axe Professor, and Driller Killer Dr. Satan to their collection. Each 5-inch figure will come with its own unique features and accessories, with pre-orders for the new figures being made available later this year. And for fans of the Halloween franchise, Trick or Treat Studios will also be releasing two all-new 1-6 scale Michael Myers collectible figures based on the character in the films Halloween 2 and Halloween 6. The new additions join the previously released Halloween, Halloween 4, Halloween 5, and Halloween 2018 figures that were released in 2020. But Michael Myers isn't the only one getting the 1-6 scale treatment. During the stream, it was also announced that Sam from Trick or Treat will be getting a 1-6 scale figure in 2022. The figure will include a sidewalk base, masked and unmasked portraits, an additional set of hands, two lollipops, and a razor blade candy bar. In rounding out some of the horror-specific reveals, Trick or Treat Studios also unveiled its new Child's Play 2 Ultimate Chucky replica. The newest addition to the Chucky line will feature movable eyes and an interchangeable head and hand system that will allow fans to swap out different heads and hands for the figure. Each head and hand set will be sold separately, allowing for Chucky to have different looks and poses with the first additional head and hand set already in development and inspired by Chucky's mauled appearance in Child's Play 3. This week Disney Plus announced that LEGO Star Wars will be getting a Halloween special this year. LEGO Star Wars Terrifying Tales takes place after the events of The Rise of Skywalker and finds Poe and BB-8 on the volcanic planet Mustafar where they meet the greedy and conniving Grabala the Hutt who has purchased Darth Vader's castle and is renovating it into the galaxy's first all-inclusive Sith-inspired luxury hotel. While waiting for his X-Wing to be repaired, Poe, BB-8, Grabala, and Dean, a plucky and courageous young boy who works as Grabala's mechanic, venture deep into the mysterious castle with Vader's loyal servant, Vinay. Along the way, Vinay shares three creepy stories linked to ancient artifacts and iconic villains from across all eras of Star Wars. As Vinay spins his tales and lures the heroes deeper into the shadowy underbelly of the castle, a sinister plan emerges. With the help of Dean, Poe and BB-8 will have to face their fears, stop an ancient evil from rising, and escape to make it back to their friends. 
Lego Star Wars Terrifying Tales will debut on Disney Plus on October 1st. But there's one other thing about this announcement that folks may have missed. In the press release, Disney Plus announced that this release would be part of Disney Plus's Hallow Stream celebration, which leads me to believe more Halloween titles may be announced in the near future. After all, this is the second Halloween special announcement to be revealed this year. You figure back in May, Disney Plus actually announced a Muppets Haunted Mansion Halloween special that was also going to be coming to the streaming service in October. So something tells me there might be more coming soon. So we'll have to wait and see. And while we're talking animation, this week Warner Brothers unveiled new details around its animated retelling of George A. Romero's Night of the Living Dead. The studio released the movie's cover art along with details on when the animated feature would be released. Fans will be able to watch Night of the Animated Dead when it hits digital on September 21st, 2021. Or you can pick up the Blu-ray combo pack and DVD when it hits store shelves on October 5th. Pre-orders for the film will be available beginning on August 10th. The new film follows the same story as the original 1968 zombie classic, but will include never-before-seen exclusive animated scenes not found in the original live-action film. The physical release of the film will also feature a making of the animated dead featurette. And another cult classic is getting a re-release this Halloween season, but this time it's a toy. NECA this week unveiled that its 8-inch clothed My Bloody Valentine the Minor figure will be re-released in time for Halloween. The figure, which was previously only available as a limited edition Shout Factory exclusive, will be released with all the same details and accessories, but will come in a clamshell packaging instead of the retro window box the limited edition figure came in. And finally, if you're a subscriber to the channel, you may have caught the new trailer that dropped yesterday for Escape Blair Witch. The new trailer was directed by and stars Halloween franchise favorite Danielle Harris and introduces folks to the world's first Blair Witch themed escape experience. The newest Las Vegas immersive attraction comes from Lionsgate and Egan Escape Productions, the same team behind the official Saw Escape. Tickets for the hour-long experience start at just $45.99 and are available now at escapeblairwitch.com. That's it for this week. As always, if you enjoyed this week's video, give it a like, leave me a comment, or better yet, subscribe to make sure you always get your weekly dose of eek. For more information on any of this week's top stories, you'll find links to the full coverage over on allhallowsgeek.com down in the description below. Until next time, keep it creepy.